Welcome to another episode of Black Pack Homestead. Well, I'm going to give you all an update as to what happened here on the on the uh, quail situation. I have had uh, four of my quail injured by a rogue ra raccoon, I believe, that had reached in there. Today's the 22nd. Uh, I'm going to collect my eggs here, and I'm going to take the third quail off to the woods there and, and uh, cull her and uh, process her out. Um, her legs broke, she's not going to get any better, she's not walking. And uh, I was kind of hoping she would recover, but upon closer examination she's just, she's in bad shape and and uh, it's tough to do the right thing sometimes. I mean it's, it's hard. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to collect some eggs right quick and uh, I'm going to get this done. It's not a happy thing to do. Uh, home setting's tough sometimes, guys. But uh, I hope you all understand that it's it's in the best interest of this animal. This animal is not going to get any better. But on the bright side, we did collect an egg from her. And hopefully there will be one more egg in there today. And uh, I can incubate these eggs. And she'll live on through her children. So, all right. Let's collect some eggs, y'all. What you got in here for me? Little quail. You got my eggs? Alright, there she is, the eggs for today. I'm sure we might get one more, two more. Probably end up getting a couple more before the day is done. But uh we're looking at, you know, about ten eggs here. Um Morella is inside, my wife Morella. I don't know if y'all are familiar with her or not, but she's, uh, she's not feeling very well today. She's chronically ill. She has Crohn's disease, what they believe is Crohn's disease. She's just an autoimmune mess. As far as I'm concerned, it affects everything. Um, but, yeah, I'm fixing to take this, this injured quail out and, and uh, do her in. She's she's gross, y'all. She's been not been able to walk. She gets it all over herself. It's it's not good. So I'm just gonna call her. It's the third victim of this attack. And uh, Morella said she was gonna do it at some point today, but I knew that it was probably pretty slight um, because she has done a lot. Whenever she tends to get up and do stuff, it she just doesn't have the juice. So um, illness is you know tough. Disabilities are tough. Uh, little known fact that you know I got one too I was I was born with this face this is the face I was born with it's it's always been a disadvantage to me you guys so um, yeah I'm going to wrap this up here shortly and we may do a little garden tour um, but I'm just gonna say my little prayers for this one and, and uh, send her on um, hopefully I'll get an egg out of her yet you know, come time to clean her out, she may have one in there. And uh, this tractor looks so empty now that we got all the males out of here. We we harvested all the males the other day, um, which was about half half of our tractor there. So it's easy to count and easy to take care of these guys, or you can tell who is who. Stuff really really quite nice. Um, these quail are such a joy to us and such a blessing to us. And. Um, I mean, it's, it's just a great thing to have. We get our eggs every day on average about, you know, about a dozen. Um, they're very active right now. They're, they're doing what quails do. Thank you all for watching another episode of Black Pack Homestead. Uh, the fourth quail is definitely going to make it. She's healthy. She's, she came out pretty unscathed. She's a little dinged up, but uh, compared to some of these other guys, she, she came out all right. So um, Hopefully there will be no more incidences like this. Um, we lock them down at night. Just that night we didn't do it. It was a nice night. And we've never had a problem with predators, but we did that night. So hard lesson learned. Lock them down. Love your animals, regardless of what they are be it a dog all the way to a horse and chickens and all that good stuff you know we got to be good stewards of the earth uh, that's just what we were meant to do we're only here for a little while so 
make the most of it, guys. God bless y'all. Thank you for watching another episode of Black Pack Homestead. Bye-bye. God bless you guys for watching this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. But, uh, yeah, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button, guys. It means a lot to us. Uh, this is a free gig for us. We don't get paid for doing this. <laughs> um, but I, I like to run a good show for you guys, and, and I hope you were in, entertained.